Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're back again with more scholarship opportunities. So today we'll be looking at the Ireland Fellows Program. It's a fully funded master's scholarship in Ireland that covers tuition, living cost, visa fees, and it even covers your English language test as well. As a matter of fact, someone from this channel recently got the scholarship. If I have a screenshot of the award, I think I would put it up in this video. So let's proceed. Um, do not be worried about this um, information here at the bottom of the screen about the IELTS exam. You will only be required to present this exam at the end of the selection process. So there are three stages and only when you get to the end um, you'll be asked to um, submit an English language test. And according to the scholar who got it recently, you would actually be assisted with funds to register for the test in the first place. So do not worry about this um, statement here. So let's move to the different categories of the fellowship. So for this fellowship, there are different categories shared among different countries. So check for the scholarship that your country is eligible for. For instance, for this first one, the Ireland Fellows Program Africa, only these countries are eligible for the, con for the, for the scholarship here. And these are the catchment areas, or they call the focal points of fields like agriculture, health, education, human rights, computer science, engineering, business. So check for your own country and see what category they fall. So for instance, this is mostly for those from the Caribbean countries and similar fields of um, focus, sustainability and climate change, engineering. There are also some country specific programs. This is for South Africa. This is for Vietnam, Cambodia, and um, Laos. This is Burundi. This is one for Nigeria, the Casement Fellowship. Another for Zambia. We have Namibia. We have Vietnam. So we'll look at about two of them, just for example, since we can't go through all of them, to see the application procedure and other things like that. So the application procedure are similar for all of them, but there, there might be slight differences. So pay attention as well to the differences that might occur why you intend to apply. So for this one, as we said initially, it's a fully funded scholarship. So you can see here a fully funded one-year master's program at a higher educational institution in Ireland. And this scholarship covers tuition, flights, accommodation, and living cost. So it, you should also try to connect whatever you're doing to the SDGs, especially the SDGs as pursued in your country. So there are 17 SDGs, right? And some of them might be more relevant to your countries than others. Mm -hmm. For instance, those who live in island um, countries, are more aware and are more disturbed by the rising sea levels than those who live on the mountains, for instance. So things about um, um, water bodies might be quite more relevant to those living in coastal areas than those not living there, if that makes sense. So try to align whatever course you're studying to national concerns about the SDGs. So let's move forward. There are lots of info here you can read on your own or should quickly rush to the eligibility criteria of this scholarship. So as you can see, um, there's a minimum of two to three years substantial work experience. So to be qualified, you have to have some work experience an average result, uh, which is um, a three over four, which is like a, a two one. And for this particular scholarship as well, they want those who 
are either government workers or working NGOs with partnership with Irish Aid, or those working in organization with um, with an outlook that aligns with them, the Irish Development Program of their particular country. But if you're not sure whether you fall into any of these categories or not, you are invited to contact the Irish Embassy. Con contact them, tell them about your background and ask about your eligibility. And then you'll be invited to apply. So for this category of scholarship, it is by invitation only. This rule might not apply to the rest of the scholarships we see here. So it's just for this first one. There are other different ones, as you can see, under the Irish program. So that rule might not apply to all of them. So be careful to read the particular rules um, for the program you're applying for. So another thing we want to check out are the different documents. So I've clicked here that I'm eligible. Then I'll click on the documents to see. So this is a directory for the program. So this is a directory for the program. I think it should contain basic information of what I need to know about the scholarship in the first place. Yeah, the directory of the program contain information I need to know about the scholarship. So you can read that on your own and see which bits of info you would need. You can see different list of courses as well and list of participating universities as well. Let's open the next document. The next document talks about specific issues for this category of scholarship, how to apply the stages of application and every other thing you need to know. So it only confirms here that it's a fully funded scholarship. It talks about covering the academic fees, a visa application fee, medical travel insurance, economic flight to and through Ireland, an Irish residence permit. And you receive a stipend of 650 euros. And then you receive another accommodation stipend um, for your upkeep as well. You can also see the different countries eligible and also a breakdown for those other countries or those other programs, apart from this one specific one that we're looking at. So as I told you, there are three stages. The first stage, and then look at the deadline here, that's the 1st of July, so watch out for that. There's a second stage. For the first stage, you're meant to just submit basic details about yourself, your bio data, and answer quickly some sample questions. I'll be, we'll be looking at the questions together shortly. But the second stage, you submit your documents, things like your transcript, your certificate, your CV, and the third stage, that is when you're called for an interview, and then that is when you have to write like an English language test. Well, as I said, the person who got the scholarship this year said she was actually assisted in getting, or with money in writing the English language test. So do not worry about that. So there are lots of info here you can read on your own step-by-step -step guide on how to apply for the scholarship. So let's look at the form quickly. The form that you might have to submit um, for the first stage of the of the selection process. So it's a basic application form, as you can see, and then there are three questions, very short questions, eighty words. The first one is um, about the specific program you intend to study and how it will affect your career aspirations. This is a regular question they ask for scholarship applications. And you can check my videos for scholarship tips on how to write about your career prospects. So here quickly, what you just do is that go to this, to the web page of the program you intend to apply for. And I think you're allowed to apply for two programs, I believe. So go to the web page of the programs you're applying for. 
then read the program description and look for the skills you think you would learn in this program. Then connect the skills to your field of um, specialization. So for instance, if you're in engineering, um, tell them about the skills you intend to learn in this master's course and how it will help your career. You could say that this skills, a skill in sustainable engineering or solar engineering or this or that would help like in get, getting your promotion in your place of work or help you in um, starting your own consultancy, you know, something like that, or helping you with skills to upgrade facilities in your place of work or to train other people. Uh, these are things you could include in the essay. The second one is about the SDGs, especially um, regarding your country particularly. So show how the programs you selected contributes towards the SDGs. So like the example I gave already, sustainable engineering, probably you're studying a program that will help you um, develop solar power in your country. So your country is struggling with um, green energy or energy sustainability. So you want to study a course that would equip you with skills of developing the potential of solar power. So you could power your community, give them sustainable energy, but also clean energy in line with the SDG that talks about sustainable energy as well. Then the last one is about your how you would link your country to Ireland. Yeah, how you would, um, how would you propose to contribute to links between your country and Ireland? You could say um, Ireland is already doing a number of projects in your country and it's also good to like Google and find out what the Irish government is doing in your country and say, um, after studying, after getting your master's, you'll be able to amplify the contribution of the Irish government in your country. For instance, by joining in ongoing projects in your country or by serving as a consultant, as a country consultant um, of the Irish government in your country or looking for ways of collaboration to help you solve joint problems as well. So that's it for this scholarship. Remember there are three stages. This is just the first stage. You pass through this stage, you're called to submit your document. You pass through that stage, then you, um, you're you called for an interview and then assisted to write the English test as well. So check this document closely. It contains step-by-step -step and procedure on how to apply for the scholarship. So quickly, let's check out another one. So it was the first one we checked out. Let's check out the Casement Scholarship. The Casement Fellowship in Human Rights. So this one is for Nigerians. And just like the first one, it covers, um, it's fully funded for one year at um, a higher education institution in Ireland. It covers full academic fees flight, accommodation, living cost, as you've seen. So let's go to the eligibility requirements. Nigerian, you need to have like a three over four, that's like a two one. You also need like a minimum of two years work experience, as you can see here. Remember things about the SDGs. Here, you do not need to contact the embassy like the previous ones we've seen. So let's click on here that we're eligible for it and we show the documents. Yeah, this directory is, I think is the same with the one we saw earlier. But why this casement um, fellowship form is a bit different, it's particular to this um, particular one in the first place. So let's see. This is the casement one. It's quite similar to what we've seen already in the previous one, as you can see. The monies are similar. You know, covers your academic fees, your visa fee, uh, medical insurance, and the rest of them. Then there's also a three-stage application process. And the application form in the first stage is similar to what we've seen already. So this is the application form for the casement fellowship in the Ireland Fellows Program. And the questions are actually 
the same. So there's no much difference. And there you go, guys. It's also broken down into the different stages, what you need to know, the documents you need to provide. So just sit down and read closely these documents and you'll be kept abreast of the application procedure. So of course, there are other pockets of scholarships here under this fellowship. Check for the one that you qualified for and we wish you good luck. I hope this was insightful, guys. It could be you winning this um, by this time next year. So start working towards it already. Remember, the first deadline is 31st of this month of July. So you want to put in your documents before the deadline. And who knows, by this time next year, we might just be celebrating you too. As usual, we cannot wait to celebrate you. Get to work. Start putting your documents together. And we'll see you at the top sooner than later. Bye-bye for now.